I don't normally post uh, kind of reviews of equipment on uh, online, but I just wanted to talk about uh, a DAC that I've just bought, which um, I'm incredibly impressed with. This is a uh, an Audio Lab uh, M DAC Plus. Uh, so it's been around for a few years now, this DAC. And uh, what I've well, the reason I got it is because there are options to change the filter types uh, in in the system. So you can change the the filters uh, from uh, this. Uh, there's about seven different uh, filters on the SP diff line. And there's a few filters on a DSD uh, 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 input system as well. Um, and uh, yeah, in fact, actually, the um, the uh, the optimal transient filter is one that is this one here there's three of these optimal transient types there's the uh, optimal transient optimal transient XD and optimal transient DD um, and apparently these filters have exactly the same frequency and time domain but the mathematics that uh, is behind them is implemented in different ways and it leads to slight sonic differences and indeed it does lead to slight sonic differences and and for what I'm doing at the moment which is um, actually streaming some uh, some uh, uh, audio files through uh, the internet using SoundCloud, um, the, I find that this uh, optimal transient filter sounds by far the best. Now, how do I know that? Well, um, well, because this unit here uh, is being fed from this computer, which uh, there are some videos online about this, but ultimately what's inside here is a, a very fast, uh, uh, decent uh, computer system, uh, which is fe feeding an RME uh, AOI, that's all in one uh, sound card uh, via a supernova optical cable into the back of here. So, so this noisy, electrically noisy thing is, is electrically isolated from this. It's via an optical cable. So I'm just using the optical in input here and streaming the data across into into this this is then going into this yamaha amplifier so this is a this is the flagship amplifier from yamaha it's um it's about 4000 quid uh this is just under 800 quid um so actually from a dac perspective fairly cheap and the reason why i'm doing this review is because it's bloody excellent i mean it's a really 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 nice really nice sounding bit of kit particularly particularly when you use this optimal transient there's another there's another filter in here the optimal transient dd actually is a little bit bass light apparently it's op, it's um implemented in a dual a dual, a dual some sort of dual configuration which is supposedly uh, to cancel out secondary errors or secondary effects uh, in the um, in the um, in the digital to analog conversion section <laughs> something online about that the bottom line is i found it a little bit bass light uh, and uh, I certainly see here a significant improvement with this uh, optimal transient uh, uh, sound. Now, this amplifier is uh, being fed, or feeding rather, um, these um, BMW 804S speakers, uh, which are pretty good speakers from uh, yeah, beyond the human hearing down to about 30 hertz. And then some very low frequency stuff I pick up here about, you know, 30 hertz and below for low frequencies. So, I mean, truth of the matter is it's a it's a pretty good system. And uh, and, and I really am so impressed with the sound from this. The, the, the balance, particularly with these optimum, optimal transient filters, the smoothness and openness of the sound. Um, I think is just fantastic and believe me I've used quite a lot of different DACs over the years and uh, I'm very very impressed with this. Now other things to notice are how the signals getting into uh, into this system is via well, it's via the computer but what what I have here is a piece of software called J River it's a, a very good quality uh, media player and J River has got an option uh, somewhere deep in the option systems, maybe it's down in advanced. Um, there is something in here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can't exactly find it in the menu system, but the the main point is if I go on here, 
and open up the sound driver software, you will see that there is a J River Media Center driver, which you can access through the J River Media. You can set that up. So I use that as my default media player, which means that things like browsers then go through this J River Media Center. And that means that the the audio path is direct. It uses the Wasapi driver. Uh, it's going through the internal uh, 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 audio system using the internal volume control system within J River. It's um, it's a bit perfect. I know it's a bit perfect for a fact because I check that sort of thing using a piece of software. For example, this here. It's a fairly scrappy looking piece of software, but it's it's a very very clever piece of software which allows you to make uh, copies of files and then do uh, checks using a fast Fourier transform system and allows you to check whether there are any mathematical differences between the files that you generate. And I capture these things in uh, Adobe Audition. Uh, so that is indeed a very good piece of professional grade software. Um, so all captured through the, uh, the RME sound card. Uh, so I, I think I've spent really quite a bit of time checking checking the audio path uh, using this J River Media Center driver, uh, WDM driver. That's uh, a bit perfect system. Uh, that works a bit perfectly. So you can actually use things like browsers and get high quality streams through the, uh, through the window system. Then through a decent, well, the RME sound card was again, it's about 500 and odd quid sound card. So, and again, I know it's bit perfect because I've done loopback tests on it and uh, confirmed it using the, the audio diff maker software that I'm 100% sure that it's a uh, bit perfect. Um, and then that is then fed into, um, into the DAC and onto the speakers. And it works really, really nicely. You know, it's been a long struggle getting high quality sound out of this system by changing a lot of components and analyzing analyzing the data that's generated making sure that there's data integrity and well this latest edition this um, audio lab DAG I think is exceptionally good and that's why I've decided to just uh, put a few words on YouTube uh, for other parties who might be uh, who might be looking for a decent DAG and um, I certainly can recommend this and I like it particularly because of these um, these options that they have for changing the uh, changing the filters to allow just a little bit of customization and a little bit of selection. I think depending upon the type of music that you're listening to, you may come up with a different choice for what type of filter you want to use. So there's this optimal transient, optimal transient XD, optimal transient DD. Then there's a couple of things in here: this sharp roll off and slow roll off, which are more for information only minimal phase apparently that's um, a very analog like very quite linear uh, but uh, I, I i mean from my perspective i'm pretty happy with the uh, the uh, optimal transient what is what is interesting uh, about this is that there's quite a bit of information online about these filters that are in here have been set up in in a way that they avoid uh, a problem called pre-ringing or uh, yeah pre-ringing or pre-echo whereby when you do the digital to analog conversion you get some like a pre-echo of the sound coming through and apparently this is associated with um, some of the more fatiguing uh, uh, characteristics of, um, of of digital audio as well as things like jitter uh, which is a another uh, time domain uh, uh, data transfer issue that uh, that can um, uh, sort of uh, damage the uh, the sound, make it a bit harsh, ruin the sound stage, etc. So, well, that's it. Um, it might have been a little bit of a rambling, um, uh, uh, rambling conversation, but um, I, I hope you get the drift. That I'm, uh, I'm, I'm certainly more, more than happy with this, and um, particularly with these uh, these optimal transient filter uh, capabilities that exist within Stack. Bloody superb.